Hello friends, welcome back. Welcome to Pebbles SSE. Geometry we are learning and now we are going to solve exercise 1.6. As you already know that I never solve the complete example. I because I don't like spoon feeding. So we discuss all the examples here and I ask you to solve the example. Maybe some examples I solve up to certain level and then leave it to you to solve. Now there was one comment that why you are not solving all the examples. Please I am not going to solve all the examples because I told you many times in my question answer session also that it is not helpful to you. If you want a direct solution of the, all the examples, those are given in the digest. There is no need of me. So what I want, I want you to write by your own mind there on the book. Only then you will able to remember and write in the or solve in the exam. Otherwise not. So please don't insist on solving the complete example up to the answer. Yes, some examples which are very critical or very important or very long, I do solve up to the end. But in many cases, I discuss, I tell you what methods can be used, how to solve that and then I always ask to pause your video and solve those there and there. Okay? Please remember this unless and until you solve the examples by your own hand after uh, knowing the explanations of that particular example you will not be able to solve in your exam. Okay? So don't ask for the spoon feeding. I am not going to do that. Thank you. Now let us uh, go to the exercise 1.6. The first example <coughs> Now let us go to the exercise 1.6. The first example find the length of the altitude of an equilateral triangle each side measuring a units. Now first example they are given the one equilateral triangle. Of course all sides are equal. They want to find the length of altitude. Correct? Now you know that the equilateral triangle the internal angle is 60 degrees. And since this is right angle both of these angle are 30 degrees. And once you know the sides are given uh, A, all three sides are A, A units. And you have to find the length of altitude. Now you know that this is a 30, 60, 90. Okay. So this side must be equal to. This side must be equal to a by 2 and a by 2. You can easily say that the side opposite to 30 degrees is what? Half of the hypotenuse. Okay. This may be required or may not be required. But I am just examining the figure and what I know from that figure I am writing it down. See in uh, these kind of easy examples some figures or the some numbers may not be required but this is a habit of examining the figure and this will be useful for uh, many other chapters and solving many other examples. There you have to decide what to do by examining the figures. Okay? So now you can say that the side opposite to 60 degree is root 3 by 2 into hypotenuse. So your, if I say that H h is equal to root 3 by 2 into hypotenuse is a. So a root 3 by 2 is my answer. This is very easy. Here again the a they have mentioned a units. The each side measuring a units. So here also you have to write the answer will be a root 3 by 2 units. Don't forget to write the units. If unit is given, write unit. If nothing is given, then also write units. And if the centimeter, meter, etc. are given, then there is no question. You have to write that. Let us go to 
second question second question appeared in march 12 exam for one mark find a side of the square whose diagonal is 16 root 2 second question very easy square is given diagonal is given 16 root 2 and you have to 16 root 2 centimeter you have to find a side i'm not going to solve because we know that if this is 90 and these two sides are equal so this has to be 45 and this must be 45 and same on the opposite side so you can easily find out because the side opposite to 45 degree is 1 upon root 2 into hypotenuse in this case it is diagonal so please pause your video and find the answers of this now only the numbers arithmetic is remaining so please pause your video and complete this don't forget to write unit centimeters let us solve third example in triangle pqr let us draw triangle pqr p is 30 degrees q is 60 degrees r is right angle this is what given and pq is 10 pq is 10 PQ is 10, find the PR and QR. Oh, don't ask me to even explain this to you. Okay, this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and then hypotenuse is given. You can easily find out these two figures. This is nothing but 5 because half of the hypotenuse, and this is just calculate it. Please pause your video here and solve this. It is given uh, only 10. So, you can answer unit will be units. Okay. Please pause your video and solve this third example. Example number four. Find the perimeter of an isosceles right angle triangle. Isosceles right angle triangle will draw the triangle. Isosceles right angle triangle with each of the congruent side measuring 7 centimeters that this is 7 and this is 7 right angle triangle isosceles you know that and we have to find a perimeter okay we know that this is 45 this angle is 45 this angle is 45 we can easily find a diagonal very easy 45 45 90 theorem okay centimeter is given so you have to write the diagonal centimeter now in see i have seen the students they get overjoyed when very simple example comes in the exam not many students i also used to do the same thing and make mistake are kya easy paper hai kya easy sum hai and without thinking and without even reading that example properly i used to solve and at last answer is wrong i knew everything and the same thing happens with the students they get overjoyed overjoyed such a simple paper and i know everything so please read the example again underline what is asked okay always keep an habit of underlining the givens so that you will not miss any given what they have asked specifically i am telling you about this example because in exam while checking papers i have seen minimum 60 percent of the students has stopped here finding the diagonal and only 40 percent student 40 percent uh, plus minus they found a perimeter because they have asked the perimeter of the isosceles triangle and by mistake in overjoyed because this example was for two marks or three marks maybe by mistake okay so three marks are in pocket but don't forget they are asked the perimeter you have to add these three sides and you it is not asked to find only diagonal okay diagonal if it's a square here I can say hypotenuse hypotenuse is not asked the perimeter of the triangle is asked so please pause your video here 
and solve this example. Example number 5. In this figure, this angle, I am not writing the names of the angles, okay? Because you have to solve this example. We have very easy example. In this figure, it is given that this angle is 60 degrees. Then, they say that the ray, this ray is bisecting this angle. Obviously, when it is bisecting, means both the angles are 30 degrees each. Then again, they say that these two segments are perpendicular on the arm of the angle. Then, uh, this is given 8. I am deliberately not writing the uh, names of the points, okay, because you have to solve this example. This is given 8. Find the perimeter of this. This perimeter you have to find out. Okay. Very easy, isn't it? Because this is nothing but 30, 60, 90 triangles. Two 30, 60, 90 triangles are there. Two 30, 60, 90 triangles are there. If this is 8, then what will be your hypotenuse? Or if this is 8, what will be your this side opposite to 60 degree? angle root 3 by 2 into hypotenuse correct so first you have to find out the hypotenuse which will be opposite side is always half of the hypotenuse so this is 16 this is equal to 16 into root 3 by 2 that is 8 root 3 then 8 8 root 3 similarly you can find out these now I have found out this side is very easily Okay, now one more mistake many students do that they simply consider that this side equal to this side, which is nowhere given. Okay, this side is not equal to this side, that means it is not given. So, what you have to do first prove these two triangles congruent by side hypotenuse theorem and then this side equal to this side corresponding sides of the congruent triangle and hence this is 8 and since this is 8 again this you can find out or it is equal to this correct and then add all four sides to find a perimeter of that quadrilateral since this 1.6 is very very easy and this is the only sum which requires some brain used to be there. So, I have not even written the name of the points. I will explain you again, once again. This angle is 60. This is angle bisector and hence both the angles are 30-30. These two segments are making 90 degrees on the arms of the angle, this 60 degree angle. Okay. This side is, this segment is given 8. So, from this we can find out this side. Now, prove these two triangles congruent, side hypotenuse theorem. Okay, and so these two sides are equal because congruent, uh, corresponding sides of congruent triangles. And now you also can find out this, and hence the perimeter of this quadrilateral. Now, here you have to find first the hy hypotenuse by using the side opposite to 30 degrees half of the hypotenuse by that theorem 30, 60, 90. But if you use trigonometry, then you can use directly the value of tan 60. And tan 60 is nothing but root 3. So, this side upon 8 is equal to root 3 and you can easily find out the value okay so you can uh, do it by both the ways whichever way is suitable for you so please pause your video now and solve this example completely please do it now example number six the figure is given something like this this is first let us examine the figure this is the given figure from this figure, I can judge that this is nothing but 60 degrees. This is 45 degrees. Okay. 
what they are asked to find out first of all they are given lk is equal to 6 root 3 and now they are asked to find all these sides or all these segments this one hypotenuse this hypotenuse and this side and also the perimeter of m l k n now mind well this side is equal to this side because 45 degrees angles on both the sides isosceles triangle correct so do i need to even discuss this example it is very easy example from this 6 root 3 you can easily find these two segment lengths because this is side opposite to 60 degrees and this is hypotenuse so you can find out apply your 30 60 90 theorem find out root 3 by 2 into this so you will get this hypotenuse side opposite to 30 degree is half of the hypotenuse now this side is equal to this side we know that and hypotenuse again you can use the same 45 45 90 theorem and find out the value of all the sides and then don't forget to find out the perimeter addition of all the sides so please pause your video here and solve this example this is very a very very easy example okay please do it now the last example of 1.6 is this and I think we have solved a similar example as a uh, solved example while discussing this topic but still let us uh, look at it quickly first examine the figure and mark down whatever you know this is 45 and this is 90 degrees is yes it is given this both are 90 degrees this is a trapezium okay this vr qp is a trapezium and we have to find the length vr okay and they also stated that pq is parallel to vr this pq is parallel to vr now this is 45 so this must be 45 and this side must be equal to this side if this is 60 this must be 30 if this is 6 this must be 6 and this is 4 this must be 4 and this must be 4 if this is 4 this must be 8 correct so uh, you have to only find this one and you can easily find it out by using the 30 60 90 side opposite to 60 degrees and uh, if anybody have doubt how I found out this 8 because side opposite to 30 degree is half of the hypotenuse so now side opposite to 60 degrees 60 degree angle in 30 60 90 triangle is root 3 by 2 into 8 hypotenuse so this is root 3 by 2 into 8 and so it is 4 root 3 so we have 4 root 3 plus 6 plus 4 that is 10 plus 4 root 3 is the answer for this sum actually we solved this uh, while uh, studying this topic last topic but let us solve this quickly I have solved this orally no need to even write it on the paper but since this can be there for uh, 4 marks or 5 marks maybe 4 marks 3 to 4 marks don't uh, find the answers orally I know the answers can be found out orally but you don't do that please pause your video and solve this example step by step okay quickly very easy example and or you can as this is the last example of 1.6 you can solve this after finishing this video so friends uh, here we have finished the uh, exercise 1.6 of the chapter similarity and now we'll move ahead only two topics are remaining or rather one topic is remaining then we'll solve the uh, problem set of this and after that we will go for hot soft geometry okay thank you very much have a nice day.